Hello everybody, Ian Robson here. Welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Today we are taking a road roller from Fresno, California to St. Louis, Missouri. Um, so this is the coast to coast mod that I'm testing out today. Um, it uh, came out not too long ago and I'm just testing out the coast to coast feature of it. Um, so basically you can go from California where I am all the way out to the east coast on the other side and uh, that's why we're able to go to Missouri now I've not tested this out so I don't know what to expect really um, I suspect that it will be uh, interesting there may be some walls we will run into that we'll have to uh, port around which is fine because it's a still in testing essentially so we're gonna give it a go and see how it works so it's kinda like a it's just one single road so if I show you the map real quick it's just one single row that goes from east to west basically so it goes all the way to Boston uh, to put it in perspective so it's pretty um, <laughs> linear I guess uh, it doesn't do anything else other than that um, I took out one of the other mods I was testing out just to uh, just to ensure I was didn't run into any trouble basically because often when you try and play with multiple mods at the same time that's when you run into trouble so I figured I would uh, I would save myself the hassle and take out all the other mods. So, so here is the road roller we're taking to Missouri. And like I said, I don't know what to expect here because I have not tried the mod out. It's kind of like a first look, so to speak. So I'm not going all the way to uh, all the way to the next uh, to the opposite coast. I'm only going about three quarters of the way there. Uh, from what I remember, it's 3,000 kilometers still. Still, still a pretty big journey nonetheless. Um, so we're gonna see how it goes and uh, kind of explore a little bit and see what it's like. Um, so far I've explored uh, roughly about, I think it's like 70% of the map so far. Um, more, I think it's more than 70% of the map I've just discovered thus far. So I'm sure we'll discover more of it soon enough. And, uh, oops, that's not what I wanted to bring up, uh, this. Yeah, so it's only 8.40 in the morning, so we should have more than enough time to get a good chunk of the way there. Do at least uh, 600 kilometers, so it's maybe like a multi-part series or something. Depending on how it goes, I don't know. We'll see how fast it takes. I don't think there's there may be one straight row that goes from one side to the other side of the United States. I really don't know. We have that in Canada, actually. It's called the Trans-Canada Road, I think it's called. So it's basically like Highway 7 in Ontario is uh, the Trans-Canada Trail, Trans-Canada Road basically. No lights, we'll just continue. Make sure we take the turn nice and wide. So that's basically what we have in Ontario, and it goes all the way across Canada if memory serves, uh, which is pretty neat actually. That truck's going a little bit slower than I want it to. Uh, anyway, so I don't. I guess you have the same thing in the United States, I don't know, I'm not from the United States, I'm from Canada, that's why I know <laughs> the Trans-Canada Trail as opposed to whatever interstate this would be. Actually, it might even say on the map. What does it say? Interstate 40. Is that right? 40, 40, 40, 44. So maybe there's not just one specific uh, road or interstate that goes across the country, but in Canada, we kind of have that, uh, like I said, the Trans-Canada Trail. So it should be kind of cool. I'm curious to see what it's like, actually, because I have not seen it. And I did see, I did read through the comments already to see what people had to say about it. And some people were saying there were some problems with uh, invisible walls already. So I'm expecting invisible walls, basically. One thing I'm kind of waiting for, I still haven't seen a mod like it yet. Um, but I am waiting for, I guess we can do 95. Uh, one thing I'm waiting for is a police scanner mod. Uh, I'm surprised there hasn't been one yet, actually. Let's just get in front of this truck. I'm surprised there hasn't been one yet, to be honest with you, because uh, we're not going to make it on this hill. Maybe on the downhill. Um, I'm surprised there hasn't been one yet, because, like, in the United States, you can totally get one, and it's not illegal there uh, to possess one, as far as I know. Um, in Canada, I think it's illegal to possess one, um, if memory serves. But there are some weird, uh, there are some weird rules associated with that. Well, that truck's just slowing down, letting us go. Sweet. Thanks, buddy. 
Uh, well, we can only put the hammer down to 105 anyway, so because I put the limiter on the truck, I limited, I put the, uh, basically for my own safety in the end, I put it on there just so I wouldn't make any mistakes. Or, hell, there's a jet, sweet. That's the first time I've seen the jet. Uh, any particular mistakes, so we'll see how, how it goes, really. So I, I really have no idea um, what it's going to be like. But I think there should be a police scanner mod, honestly. Because, like, if you were to, you know, in real life, you could have one on your truck. Probably not on a truck. Maybe on a car. I mean, you'd get in trouble for it, I'm fairly certain. In Ontario, you would. But I'm not, I'm not sure about the United States. Maybe they changed it. It used to be that you could, uh, I think you could buy with them at Radio Shack and places like that. But maybe that's changed now. I don't know. Um, I've never... Uh, I've never uh, bought one before, so I really have no idea. Hopefully we uh, we can continue on at 105 for a good long run. We might get a speeding ticket. We'll see. I don't know if the, uh, the limiter changes depending on where you are in the map. I don't think it does. I think it's just a general limiter. Probably should slow down. Coming up to a turn anyway, so I think this is where we kind of go on to the new part of the map. Uh, almost. Almost. It's still part of the other part, the regular part of the map. So, I don't know, I think there should be a mod, because then you have like, you'd have it as like a cabin accessory DLC type mod, and you in install it, and then like when you see the police officers, as you get closer to the police officer, the light would go off. I think that'd be kind of neat. But I don't know, uh... I don't know if, if the police in, in real life would appreciate that. The fact that you're promoting that in the game. <laughs> but, you know, if there's games like GTA out there, I don't know why you couldn't have something as simple as that. But, I don't know. I don't know. I forget where that map thought came from. I was just randomly thinking about something. I'm like, you know what? That'd be kind of interesting if we had something like that. But I haven't seen it yet, so. All in due time, I suppose. All in due time. But there are some newer mods coming out now. I've seen a few mods related to maps, which is kind of cool. There's one uh, Alaska off-road trucking map. Doesn't really interest me all that much, to be honest with you. Uh, but I may still check it out. The coast-to-coast -coast map seemed a bit in more interesting. Uh, so that's why I decided to come to this one instead. Rest area. Now, I fueled up before I left just to make sure I had enough fuel. Um, so I wouldn't have to uh, stop too much. I'm not going to Bakersfield. All right. Perfect. It's so strange driving in this in this game in comparison to ETS. Like driving a big truck like this, even with the uh, the sleeper cabin on it, doesn't make a difference on turns at all. In Euro Truck, it was like every turn you would notice the fact that you're driving like a longer truck. It's ridiculous, but in this game, it's it's gorgeous. I think that's why I enjoy it so much. Uh, despite the fact there is limited content, which I'm I'm okay with. I understand why there is. You can't have everything all at once, basically, or you can't have your cake and eat it too, so to speak. Let's put our lights on here. We're not gonna need them yet, but we may need them soon enough. Uh, so what I might do is I might make this into a multi-part series, and I'll stop like once we reach the 30-minute mark or something like that. We'll see. Because um, I have a sneaky suspicion 3,000 kilometers might take a bit longer than um, than 20 minutes. Put the, sp put the speed, put the speed, I'm trying to say cruise control back on, but can't talk apparently. But yeah, I think like I said, I might make this a multi-part series and uh, we'll see how it goes. That's a lot of tumbleweed, geez. We'll see how it goes. Um, I know, uh, I think BP, Bipolar Prophet, if you have no idea who I'm talking about, uh, he has done some stuff like that in Euro Truck. And actually, I saw him playing Euro Truck not too long ago, actually, so he probably is still rocking ETS. Well, he, I know he's still rocking ETS, too. Rightfully so, it's still a solid game. So I don't, I don't really hold that against him at all, because it's still fantastic. That's how we're supposed to slow down with this setup. Slow down nice and slow for a long time. That's what it feels like. Interstate 15 turning left. You can actually see that sign. Which is good. Oh, right. It's one of these scenarios where the truck is going to sit there forever. 
Look. Go. Go. Well, apparently they made it a bit better now. I don't know. But, uh... That road's been clear for a while now, buddy. Anytime now. Anytime now. He's gonna go after this truck. Yeah, there he goes. Watch there be a car coming now. Yeah, they seem to be a bit better now for that kind of stuff. I don't know how much better, but that's a nice looking trailer. Look at that. I like those chrome ones. Uh, we're going straight through here, it looks like. Yes, straight through. It's hard to tell. I'm like, I'm looking at it, I'm like, uh... So there's only, it's basically only one road that goes from east to west, so it's not too bad, but it's, you can't really branch out much. At all. Ah, doing 94. Cop didn't say anything, so that's good to see. Uh, so... We'll see how this is. I'm not sure. Um, some people were saying they love the map in the comments about the map itself. Some people were saying they hate the map, so... I don't... I really have no idea. Uh, what, what to expect. Uh, we're still in like regular vanilla e ATS at the moment. Uh, but soon we're gonna go branch out into the area where we've never been before so it should be pretty cool actually so we'll have to see. I think I have music I could play. One second. I think. Do I have music I can play? Did I leave it in here? Oh I did. So this is all YouTube free music. Uh, Friction looks real. I don't know if it's going to play at all. There we go. We'll just continue on our way now. So like I said, just YouTube free music, so nothing too crazy. Um, but we'll see. I hope you're enjoying ATS as much as I am. I. Uh, with some of the new mods that are coming out, I'm really starting to get into uh, some of the little things in the map, uh, in the various maps and whatnot. So, Flagstaff, Albuquerque, that's our stop. Well, that's where we want to go. So, alright. Let me turn that music down just a little bit more. There we go. That's better. So, this is our turn up here. See some hot air balloons. Uh, Kingman and Flagstaff. I've never been to those places. Alright. No one's coming. We're good. Now, I don't know what the traffic and AI situation is going to be like. I'm assuming it'll be fine, but, uh, um, you know what happens you make assumptions, right? So, um, apparently, the Arizona DLC is near to being ready, or close to being ready, because, uh, well, at least according to the SES staff, they left, a uh, had a a Twitter post not too long ago and a blog post talking about uh, Arizona's close to being done and I saw some screenshots and it looks pretty solid actually. Um, if you follow me on Twitter I often retweet what SCS uh, posts and what uh, Giants posts for example as well. So if you want to follow me I'm, a, I'm at IPJ Robson. So India Papa Jaguar Robson, R-O-B-S-O-N. So and I'm on Twitter often in the morning um, at like four, or five, about 5 or 6 a.m. So if you want to hit me up, I'll be there most mornings, and I'm on YouTube as well most mornings, so responding to comments and whatnot, and I do throughout the day as well, depending on bus schedules and whatnot. So this is the this is the new road. Yes, this is almost the well, it looks like the new road. So we're gonna see how this works out. I'm very curious. So far, I'm just seeing desert for miles. I suppose in real life, that's probably what it's like. Um, uh, in Arizona, that's what, that's what it would be like, but I don't know what the state is uh, close right where we are. I don't think it's going to say. No, it's not. Alright. There was another mod I was planning on taking a look at, but... Uh, oh, really? You want to pull into the way station? going make my life difficult, apparently. There was another mod that uh, MultiMikey123 suggested I look at that I just haven't got a chance to uh, mess around with yet, so. There we go. 
at the way station. Oh, thank you. Let's gonna adjust that just a wee bit more. For some reason it seems loud in my ears, but probably not in yours. Yeah, that's probably yeah, that's still good. It just sounds louder in my ears, I think. All right, let's head out. That was a quick way station stop. They're okay with us apparently. We're not overweight or anything like that. What would be kind of cool if they added something like Transocean in here, where they actually you actually could pick up like um, potential like. Let's get in front of this truck now. Uh, you could pick up like questionable cargo and stuff like that. I think that'd be kind of neat if you could do that, and then do uh, some of that kind of shipping in this or trucking in that this game as well. Uh, and then there is the potential of you being over, because like right now, like you have way stations, but you're never over. So it's almost like, what's the point of going to the way station now? Almost. So it would be cool to see. Oh, let's get a screenshot right there. It would be cool to see if we could have something like that, where uh, where it's like, okay, yeah, you can take this cargo, but you may be overweight. So if you get called into a way station. You, uh, you may run into problems, and I think that would be kind of neat if that were the case. But for as far as we know right now, it's just uh, they added it in as a cool little feature, but that's all it is right now. It's a cool little feature, nothing else. Um, doesn't really have any purpose other than adding to the realism, I suppose. But if you're going to add to the realism, you might as well add some trailers that are like, overweight or too long or too sh maybe not too short, but something like that, right? So at least that's my opinion. How are we doing on fuel? Good. So the the mod that I was talking about, the multi micro one two three suggested, was actually kind of like a um, it's like an information bar almost. So you know how I always bring up this right here to see like the information. Uh, basically, what it would do is it add like a, a line of information down the bottom, uh, so I could always see you know what gear I'm in, how much fuel I have, like where we were in the map if I wanted to. So it kind of added a, a neat little possibility in that case, and um, I just didn't want to add it in here just because I added the map in to, and I didn't want to kind of cross-contaminate because sometimes that can happen, right? Sometimes you have a situation where um, you have like two mods in together and they just don't work well together at all, so... That is kind of the situation. Look at the slow creeping up in this guy. Are we going downhill now? Nope, not quite. Whoa! That was Darn. I knew that was going to happen. Let's go into the inside lane here. Let's let these guys go by. Oh, look at that. Wow. That's kind of cool. Is that some, is that a dam or something? It's like a pipe over there. It's kind of neat. <laughs> There's a tugboat in there for some reason. We're in Arizona now. Hey, that's kind of cool. Speed limit's 105 here, so maximum uh, limited speed in the game. So that's kind of cool. There's no reason for a tugboat to be in that little tiny body of water. <laughs> like, really? Like, could you imagine seeing a tugboat? It's like, it's like, it's basically like a small pond, what it boiled down to, so. Oh, that's ridiculous. Something interesting I discovered was that uh, I was talking to a guy um, who has a fishing channel, and uh, he we were talking about bass fishing. And uh, apparently where he lives, I think he lives in Texas, if memory serves, uh, bass season's open all year there for them, which is crazy. Uh, here in Ontario, our bass season doesn't open up until third weekend of June. So you're looking at a long time before bass season opens. Oh, there's another jet. Don't know what it's doing, but it's doing something. There must be a military base in Arizona or something, because he's just going like up and down. That's all he's doing there. So, anyways, yeah. So he was saying that it's open all year for him. So he would. He basically, I told him like when my uh, my bass season open, and he was like, I would I would just start moving now. <laughs> Which is kind of funny, but it's different for every province and I'm assuming it's different for every state as well Like I was looking at the fishing regulations for BC the other day and BC is a lot more strict than it is in Ontario um, So for example, you can't use barbed hooks at all in uh, BC Which is uh, interesting. I crimp my barbs on my hooks already, so I don't know if that would be considered a barbless hook in that scenario or not, but It might I don't know. I'm not sure I uh, really have no idea, actually. Looks like a Red Bull truck. It's hard to tell. What is that? Yeah, that's Red Bull. 
wonder what color the truck is. I thought he's got it on. A green truck? That would look way better in blue. Red Bull Racing. And there's a Pepsi truck. Very cool. Is it really like nighttime already? Oh my gosh. Definitely is. That's ridiculous. So this is the cross country road once again, or coast to coast map. That's why we're able to drive in Arizona right now, heading to Missouri. That's kind of cool. By the time they add all the extra deal, all the, all, all the extra states in this game, I'll be able to know where most of the states are offhand. But uh, as of right now, I definitely don't remember where half of them are. I know where New York State is, and I know where California is, and Nevada now, I guess. But like some of the Midwestern states, I can't. I can. I know there's 52, but that's as far as I can. I know. I can know where Florida is, but that's what you get for not living in the United States, I guess. I'm assuming most Americans know where all the states are, and they can name all, if most, if not all, of the states. I would hope most of them, all of them, at least. But here in Ontario, we have or in Ontario. Here in Canada, we have uh, what is it? Ten. 10 provinces, I think it is, and three territories. Yukon, Northwest Territories, and uh, none, uh, none of it. So, just kind of cool. But we got uh, quite a quite a big, quite a big uh, landmass in Canada. It's crazy. I was looking at driving from Calgary to BC the other day. It's it's a uh, thousand kilometers. I don't know what that is in miles, but 700 miles maybe. But it, uh, just to go from Calgary to Vancouver, that's like you know. That's not very much in reality. So in Ontario, I can do from on, from Ontario, from like Eastern Ontario to like Western Ontario, I could do a thousand kilometers and still not be out of the province if I'm going to like Thunder Bay or something like that, which is the crazy part about Ontario. And I'm sure there's states like that too. I don't know, maybe Texas. I don't know the size of states very well, so. This is definitely like a long haul, but there's not, it's not very, so far it's, this is what you see. That's all it's been, or that's all it will be it looks like for a while. So I don't know. Can't put my high beams on. No, got the red lights on, we're good. But that's all it is basically, so. Hopefully in some of the other states, or once you get to there, some of the other states, it actually gets a bit more picturesque, I suppose. Uh, I hope at least. But I'm not certain about that. Fuel levels, we're good still. I think we're okay still. Technically, I could pull over and sleep, actually. Yeah, let's do that. We'll fuel up at the same time. So we're not driving at night. I could easily drive at night, but... It doesn't make for very good recording, I'll tell you that much. Actually, I don't think I can sleep. Now that I think about it. I have it set so that the fatigue simulator is off, so I don't know if I can sleep at all. There we go. Helps when you actually turn the engine on. No, I don't think I can sleep. Uh, we'll try. But I'm fairly certain I can't. Just because of the way I have the gameplay settings up, or game set up. But we'll try. There we go. Engine off. Oh no, we're good. 6 a.m. That's better. It's gonna get. It's gonna keep getting dark for you guys. In order to save uh, dealing with uh, <laughs> the darkness. Great band, by the way. There we go. Now we're driving straight into the sun. Great. Looks like it's a busier road now as well, actually. No, oh, we're good. There's no one there. If you ever drive straight into the sun, it's like one of the worst things ever. I don't. I try not to do it often, but every now and then, there's been some times where I have to go like east-west in Ontario, and it makes it for. Uh, a rather painful experience because you're basically like driving into the sun the whole way and well for a certain amount of time not the whole way it just depends how far you're going really all right where is that going that goes to flagstaff phoenix in phoenix arizona 
It's kind of cool. Let's take a look over there without crashing. Pretty cool. Almost ran <laughs> run into the cop there. Jeez. This gives you an idea what it looks like, though. Coast to coast map. If you're looking for long hauls so far, it's pretty good for a long haul. Uh, like this is like, what did I say, 3,000 kilometers to go? Was that, was that it? Or 6,000? Yeah, 3,000 kilometers. So it's good for long hauls um, if you are if you want to try them out. Like, I don't know if I don't have maximum long distance driving, so that's probably why I can't go from coast to coast right now. Um, but if I did, I'm sure it wouldn't be a problem. Uh, so I'm only, only able to get to Missouri, but maybe what will happen is we'll get halfway to Missouri and then we'll be able to go from there, so, but we'll see. I feel like I should have the speed limiter off now, though. Because for this, this is like a long straight highway, I basically feel like I should be doing like 130 or something, but... Of course, if I were doing 130, it's 105 here, so... An extra 10 kilometers can make a long, uh, a big difference, I suppose. In the long run, especially when you're doing, when you're doing like... I don't know, how long, they said it was supposed to be like a... How many hours did they say it was? 35 hours, you know, an extra 10 kilometers an hour, it saves you a few hours, so. Not, yeah, I guess it'd be a few hours. Not a crazy amount of time, but you know. In trucking world, I'm pretty sure it'd make a difference because what would happen, I suppose, would be a situation where you have to make your delivery on time, right? And if you didn't make it on time, I don't know why I'm traveling at 95, I can go 105. Um, I don't know why I stopped myself from going to 105. The road's not really turning that much, so it's not really a, a problem there. Just <laughs> For some reason, I thought the speed limit was 89 still. Oh, gosh. That's embarrassing. <laughs> anyway, it's one of those situations where you're like, facepalm, realization. Like, whoops. Maybe I should have uh, not, not um, limited myself to 95 kilometers an hour. But with the speed limiter off, like even like I have the speed limiter on right now, and uh, with the speed limiter off, you can go as fast as your truck can handle, basically. And this seems like the type of road where you can just you know <laughs> open up basically and do 110, 115 would probably get you a ticket. But no, well, there's a cop, so just as well I wasn't going 115. But what we'll do is I think we're coming up to the 30 minute marks. So I think what we'll do is we'll stop at the next stop, which is. Just up here in Albuquerque. Uh, actually, we'll stop right here instead. Uh, stop right here. Well, I guess we can't stop there. Well, it's not letting us put the put the little um, GPS navigation point there. So what we'll do is we'll make this into a multi-part series. So we'll stop close to Albuquerque, and then. From there, we'll continue on in the next episode, I think, because otherwise it's going to be like a an hour, probably more than an hour, I imagine. So, and I like to keep my episodes. I try to keep my episodes within around you know, twenty to thirty minutes, not much more than that, because I often find that I, I I personally can't watch videos much longer than that unless I speed them up. Like there's a couple of videos I watch that are like thirty or forty minutes, but I put them at one point five times, so I watch them like in like a a bit faster than they were intended to be watched. I, if you ever do that on YouTube, I, it's not. It's kind of. It's pretty easy to do on YouTube, um, but it depends on the person. I find some people are easy to listen to at like, hundred and like a one point five, time one point five times or two times. It just depends. Um, like some people don't talk a lot. You can put it on two times and not even notice. They've <laughs> not even noticed basically. And other people who talk a lot. I guess I would kind of fall into that category. Who talks somewhat a lot? Maybe. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> if I if I, if I were to put it myself at like 1.5, I, I could probably still understand because I, I like to think I talk fairly clearly, but it would just be like you'd have to really pay attention to what the person was saying. So I'm talking you know relatively quickly, and it would be if it were at 1.5 times, it'd be you know 1.5 times the speed, so 50% faster essentially. But yeah, coast to coast road, it really is just a coast to coast road. There's really not, I thought there was gonna be like maybe because we're still in Arizona technically. I don't know. Is this still Arizona? Uh, I, yes, I guess it is still Arizona. So maybe once we get to the, some of the other states, we'll see some change. But Arizona really is a desert, so I guess this is what you I would expect in Arizona. So I can't really say much. Welcome to New Mexico, the land of enchantment. 
Alright, cool. I will expect to be enchanted in uh, New Mexico then. Whether or not that actually happens, I don't know, but we're going to find out. But it'll be curious to see how like SES differentiates this versus what they're doing, really. Because um, they're releasing Arizona soon, so I don't know what they're going to include in comparison to like just this. Like, because this has like what Albuquerque, Phoenix, and it, well, this has Phoenix, Arizona, and a couple other places, but not much more than that. So I don't know. Maybe they're going to do something really interesting. Who knows? Who knows? Excellent. But I know I'm I'm surprised that there's no hawks or anything. I in my mind, if I were in Arizona or New Mexico for that matter, I would be seeing hawks every now and then, um, swooping down and picking up whatever they any kind of food they were looking for, I guess. Um, but I don't think that that's in part of the main. I don't think it's in the main game. I know I'm pretty sure it's in ETS, but obviously not here. There's UPS guy. Give the UPS guy a honk. Mm -hmm their piddly horn. I don't think he'll mind. But I'm waiting for air horns. Uh, hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. Uh, because the little horn... I thought the Packard mod would actually change that uh, to something else, but as far as I can tell right now, it doesn't change it at all. It just keeps it... Uh, keeps the same horn that you have in-game, so... Such a cool looking truck. I can't wait to get some of the other Peterbilts, like some of the older school Peter, old school Peterbilts in here. I haven't tried any modded vehicles yet, because like I said in other videos, they are pretty just standard ETS2 converts, basically. So I haven't looked at many yet, but um, there are a couple. There's a couple. There's a Freightliner I've seen, uh, a couple, a few Kenworths as well. And I'm sure they're all based on like the base, the, the model that's in game. So like this right now here is a 579, right? Um, so I'm sure all the other Peterbilts we'll see in the future are probably going to be based on this in some way, shape, or form, right? So that will be very curious to see how that works out. Looks like our rest stop is coming up here, just in perfect time. Definitely is a flat map. What? New Mexico, Arizona. I This is what I would expect, basically. Now, I think... This is the place where people said there was an invisible wall. So I'm going to slow down. Because I have a sneaky suspicion I might run into a invisible wall. Uh, so let's go to Cameron Fuel here. And there's scales there. There we go. Turn the engine off. Fuel up. Not that it makes a big difference, but... Might as well stay fueled. There we go. Parking brake off. And we'll just drive straight into this parking spot right in front of us here and hope that we don't run into an invisible wall. Looks like we're good. I was a little afraid there for a second. Perfect. Alright folks, that'll be it for part one of the coast to coast trip, uh, heading to, from Fresno to Cali, not Cali, from Fresno to St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed part one and we'll come back for part two where we hopefully will continue finish the journey, but we'll see how it goes. So that's it for me for today, folks. My name is Ian Robson, and if you enjoyed this episode, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more American Truck Simulator. I'll catch you guys later.